flawless, okay? Flawless. <laughs> Good morning guys, good morning. It's a bit of a different scene today. I'm in my bathroom as you can tell and I'm here to take you through some steps, okay? This is my morning skincare oh, routine. <laughs> so ever since I was younger, I've always looked after my skin. I, I've always looked after my skin. I knew from a very young age that in order to grow up beautifully and maintain my beauty I needed to look after my skin and luckily I was blessed with a mum and a grandma who know how to moisturize the skin, who know how to exfoliate the skin and being African exfoliation is just standard okay a lot of people might think oh but Africans do you even get a shower every day Look, like anywhere else in the world, not everyone showers every single day, depending on circumstances, okay? However, Africans shower, remove that programming from your mind, okay? So for Africans, a lot of Africans, we use something called a net. So an African net, so I'll just show you. <laughs> So we use something called a net. So this is a typical African net. And this allows you to get to your back. So like you do, you do all of this, right? I'm not gonna shower on screen because, mm, no, no. So um, we use that, whereas, you know, typical Europeans or Americans or people in the West, we use things like exfoliating gloves. It's the same principle, but ours allows you to get to the middle of your back whereas a lot of people's don't. So that is basically it. That's how we shower, and after we shower, we moisturize. And I actually have two different methods of moisturization. I have my, um, where is it? I have things like creams that I use to moisturize my skin, but the majority of the time, what I actually use is oil. So organic rapeseed oil. And this is what I use to moisturize my skin. I feel like my skin feels softer, more supple afterwards. And the thing is, if you're bathing every day, you can use this because it will not just clog your pores, it will moisturize and seal the water, which is the true moisture, into your skin. So this is what I use. Let's go. So I actually bought myself one of these. I'll show you the proper routine in another video, like the proper bits and bobs that I use. But I actually bought one of these, it's a Voyox. I got it from Amazon, I'll link it down below so that you can actually see it. It's, it's this brand, if you can. Bam, bada, bam, 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 bam. So basically I got this and it's been really, really useful. It's helped to retexturize my skin and it just makes me feel really smooth like I've got um, a few discoloration marks from where I actually picked up my skin I know I shouldn't do it but it felt good at the time and I did try not to but trust me even babe is just like no don't do it you're hurting your skin but it's true and I know that <laughs> but I do it and I'm not gonna do it anymore I'm going to be really disciplined and diligent and not do it okay so moving on this is what I use and I actually bought the CeraVe, it's a smoothing cleanser, it's got salicylic acid in there, it also has urea, yes that's a product of urine but you know, it's a different means of extraction, it's a different means of extraction, it's not pee in a bottle I promise, <laughs> kind of is. Moving on, so it's got urea, um, hyaluronic acid which really helps with retaining moisture and it also helps to attract moisture to your face, so it's also humectant, okay. So this is what I use and I use this and I also use my Naturally Radiant from Superdrug. It's a glycolic acid, it's like a glycolic tonic with glycolic acid and other kind of like kiwi, mulberry extracts and things like that and it's 5%. What I um, I used to use that and then I switched to the ordinary 
I'm sure a lot of people have heard of this. If you're a skincare buff, if you love skincare, I'm sure you've heard of The Ordinary. So this is 7% 7 and my skin was like, no, what is this? Why? And I actually got like dark marks just underneath my eyes for a few weeks and then I cleared it up because I didn't have see. So yes, this is definitely not for my face. This is for my body only, okay? So let's get into this. This has become like a skincare vlog. I'm just gonna take you through the steps of what I actually do. Ba, 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 skincare, yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Cold water. <laughs> love the feeling of finishing my products because it just feels so nice to be able to get to the bottom of a tub then recycle it you know I'll make a post about my minimalism journey about what I do and what I don't do anymore in light of trying to live simply trying to live a more holistic lifestyle and in general just trying to be more in tune with the environment and the thing is I am um, I'm not an environment warrior I like to look after the environment because I love the earth I absolutely love the earth I'm not up to date with conservation issues and things like that because for me part of I'm a steward of the earth so part of stewarding the earth is knowing that sometimes things need to go in order to grow other things so for example when trees are chopped down I don't mean deforestation okay sometimes trees need to be chopped down in order for people to have firewood for example like in countries where indigenous cultures live they need the tree chopped down for firewood. If I was a very starch, or um, if I was a very, um, the word has escaped me, but if, so, if I was a very staunch, there we go, if I was a very staunch conservationalist, I would abhor that completely and ask them to find different ways. However, what you have to realize is that the earth is capable of regenerating. 
it's when we don't help it to regenerate that is when it just stops dead in its tracks so for me I like to I like the modern day indulgences I do I really do I love being able to use the face creams that I love because it just makes me feel good okay and I also have DIY things as well that I've made myself but if it were up to me I think alternative is better than complete elimination so I'd rather use hemp for books and things like that instead of cutting down the trees but sometimes if the tree needs to be cut down for firewood purposes then you have to cut down the tree you know let's say you have to sustain life okay okay mm, mm, mm. That, <laughs> that went into a bit of an environmental tangent there but the whole point of that was I love using products to the very end of their life because it gives me great satisfaction knowing that I've been able to finish something that I truly intended and wanted to buy and it also helps you realize that the product actually works because I've fallen in love with this and the only reason why I've fallen in love with this cream is because I've used it enough time to give it time to work. If I hadn't used this cream then I wouldn't know the, you know, or if I've only used it a few times and switched then I wouldn't know the benefits but now I've truly felt and can see, I mean you can see the benefit. Look at my face, like this is, you've just seen me finish my face routine, my morning routine and look no makeup whatsoever but flawless okay flawless <laughs> this is the joy that comes with being able to figure out what works for you and trust me I spent months figuring it out I've got a whole collection of skincare that I'll walk you guys through I might do a weekly skincare bonus as well you never know you never know surprise surprise <laughs> but this is what I love and this is what I want to share with you guys so that is that yeah, that is Renew and Night Cream, Glyconic Tonic. I also finished everything off with my CeraVe Smoothing Cream. And the companion product to that is the CeraVe Cleanser. And this is just my morning routine. I've got other products that I use as well, but that is one of the video. <laughs> Bye, have a fruitful day, stay blessed. And enjoy life, enjoy yourself, okay? Promise, <laughs> promise. Ah, uh, no, I have a special promise I do my day. I'm not gonna do that with you guys, but promise you just get this. You just get this. <laughs> promise, guys. Love you. Bye. Mwah.